An endless stream of condolences being offered to the Boulder community tonight as this awful news continues to develop. Many longtime residents reeling after this horrific shooting. Tori Mason with more on these reactions tonight. And Tori, our governor has called Boulder home for a long time. He has, Kelly, and over the next couple of days, we're going to learn more about these victims and what they meant to this community. But tonight, we just mourn this tremendous loss. If you look behind me here, Boulder's Flagstaff Star is lit this evening to honor the 10 lives that were taken here this afternoon. The CU Event Center was briefly used as a reunification spot for friends and family of those who were at King Supers. We're also told that victim advocates and mental health resources were made available as well. Governor Jared Polis released a statement this afternoon saying, quote, my heart is breaking as we watch this unspeakable event unfold in our Boulder community. We are making every public safety resource available to assist the Boulder County Sheriff's Department. Representative Joe Nagu says he's also prepared to support authorities in days ahead. He wrote, today's events are simply devastating. Like my fellow Coloradans, my heart is heavy in grief and in anguish. He went on to say, while there is still a lot we do not know, one thing is very clear. Tragic incidents of gun violence have plagued our country far too long. Now, Nagus also went on to encourage the Boulder community to utilize some of the mental health resources that are made available to them. We'll post that information on CBSDenver.com. We're live in Boulder, Tori Mason covering Colorado First. Tori,